one. Hi, I'm Scott with Pioneer Visits Trailer, and we have here a 1977 Airstream Sovereign. It's 31 foot in length, has a body uh, that is 27 foot. Uh, this trailer has uh, zip D awnings all the way around it. Um, as you can see here, they are brown and orange. Um, they do function. Well, you can see some of the stitching is starting to come apart. Uh, the previous owner had put some tape on there to help with that. Um, so, but like I said, they are still functional. So this trailer has is in very good condition. Uh, there are uh, a couple minor blemishes on the exterior. Um, for instance, down here you have one of the mar or, uh, one of the reflectors that got pushed in. Um, but at some point, the I don't I can't tell you the exact age, but this trailer has been stripped, polished, and re clear coated. So as you see as we go around the trailer, that you'll see that the exterior finish is in very nice shape, very nice condition nice shine to it. Um, here we have the intake and exhaust for the furnace. It's got a nice stainless bunk cover over it. We've got an uh, outside outlet here. This is your fresh water fill for the fresh water tank. Um, all running lights are operational. Tail lights are operational. That's all in good shape. It's got the nice chrome Airstream hub caps on it. Tires are in very good shape ready for the road. As you can see the frame down here still got nice black paint. It ain't all rusted. This trailer was uh, taken care of very well. Uh, tinted windows all the way around. You've got a newer Atwood water heater with the stainless cover. You've got a compartment door over here for storage. Got the nice reflector housing, these are aluminum. And again, zip the awning on the rear window. Well, here we have a little boo boo here. Got another compartment storage. Um, and as you'll see when we get inside, the two storage compartments are meant to open up underneath what used to be twin beds in the back, because it's got the rear bedroom with the center bath. So as you can see, the Zip D awning, you know, it does need a little work. You know, some of there again, the stitching starting to come off here. Um, same here, they put the, uh, the tape under there to help hold that from coming apart. But again, still functional. This is the uh, vent for the refrigerator. We've got two aluminum 30 pound propane tanks. I put, uh, we installed two brand new batteries. It's got a newer, newer pigtail on it. Good towing chains. Electric jack. I will include, if you need, I will include with the sale a uh, brand new hitch set up with the leveling bars. We've got keys for all the locks. This door lock is in very nice shape. This one you can actually close just by pushing the door. You don't have to pull the handle out like you see a lot of times. Uh, we've got the two steps here. Those work and operate very nice. You know, screen door, functional. So as we come inside, uh, the front beds and the put a hand like a table here. You know, that all has been removed, as well as the rear beds. So I opted not to finish out the interior. Uh, there's such a diversity of, you know, what people want. You know, some people want to refurbish and, and do their own thing. Um, and this trailer would be very excellent for that purpose. 
Um, as you can see, the original flooring in here, and it is not rotted anywhere. So that tells me this trailer has been very well maintained over the years. The curtains are all in nice shape. We did do a systems check on the trailer, so all the plumbing has checked out, all the water lines checked out, uh, the converter's good, you know, that, that works fine. Like I said, two new batteries, uh, the gas system, that all works, the furnace works, uh, the stove, the oven, the refrigerator, all works, electric and gas. So all the mechanicals in the trailer are good, so it's just a matter of putting some flooring in. You know, you can either put a couple rockers or a couch up front, and, uh, you know, if you're fairly handy, this would not be a huge project. So, nice orange countertops in great shape. So, I already did some, the water check. So, very neat layout. We got the bump out here, lots of storage, all the timber works smooth. Very nice to operate. Here's the control panel, and everything works, which is very nice that everything works. The stove on this, very nice shape. It's not all rusted. There again, very well taken care of. Pantry here, with lots of shelving, some pull out drawers, even some goodies there. Then, very large closets. So, there's some water hose, some chalk blocks. Um, then, we have the bathroom here. We've got a toilet, the sink, the shower. And again, all in great shape. And again, the curtains all in nice shape. They're not all yellowed. So this is what would have been the rear bed. Whoops, would have had the two twins. So you can see the water system here, all intact. If you look around the floor, you have no floor rot. There's been no repairs done. So very good indicator that it was taken care of. Uh, you got, you know, a couple little goodies there, some chalk blocks again. There's a hitch. Um, I can give you a brand new one with the trailer. That's not a problem.
like these could be used to get wound up a little bit. So plenty of light that comes in. Hold up shelf here. And this down here you got a trash can, built in trash can. There's the furnace down there. You've got a water ah, water filter, canister. You know, all in nice shape. Alright, Brad, if you go around to, you can go around the outside and I'll start I'll roll up the awning. Conditioner works, operational, and it also has two new fantastic fans, front and rear. Very nice addition with the uh, tinted lid. Four stabilizer jacks in all four corners. And this trailer does have fresh water, gray water, and black water tanks. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.